You've already been through so much. Transitioning. That was sort of hard. Oh my god, she said it. The woman who saved Cleo. No! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have something very, very fun and exciting to talk about. A few weeks back, I made a video about Grand Theft Auto and how they were removing some of the characters that were, you know, maybe a little bit more problematic portrayals of trans characters. This time we have another trans character, but they're not being removed, they're being added. Round of applause for being added to the game instead of removed, love that. I won't lie though, I was kind of glad that they were removed from Grand Theft Auto because those were not it. So hopefully the character that we are going to see today does a little bit better of a job. Apex Legends released a update and in this update, there is a new character who is trans, a trans woman, if you will. This article on them talks about the new character and it says, trans gamers, it's time to reload. Apex Legends' newest character is officially an out and proud transgender woman. And now in the past, there have definitely been, you know, trans characters added to things, but they're just like not good characters. Like they're not good representations of trans people. They're not good, like, they're just not good. In today's video, we're gonna watch their new trailer that includes the new character. Her name is Catalyst, and we're gonna talk about it. I post new videos twice a week here on my channel, so make sure to subscribe if you are not already, and you would like to be. Go ahead, go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait, go ahead. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those different places to keep as up to date with me as possible. And yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into this video. So I wanna start this video by just watching a little bit of the trailer that they released that is, you know, including the new character. So shall we? Mm-hmm, and that's supposed to tell you something? This crystal represents courage. This represents beauty. Okay, spot on so far. And what does the bag of rocks say about him? Cur courage and beauty? Is that like a little, a reference to trans people being courageous and beautiful? Also the bag of rocks? What's that a reference to? Is that another reference? We're gonna move past that one. We're not gonna talk about the bag of rocks. She needs us to protect her. <laughs> Let me guess, that someone is us. Someone needs to do something. Last time we listened to you, we almost ended up in jail. I thought we were a sisterhood. You're going too far, a sisterhood. So I wanna get through the whole little trailer before we talk about how, you know, Miss Catalyst is being portrayed, of course. But I do quickly wanna say that the voice actor that is playing Catalyst is actually a trans woman herself. She actually tweeted this out when the um, trailer came out and she said, I am the grim trans legend your parents warned you about. I am Catalyst. There are no words to express my gratitude that capture how much this character, this story, this family means to me. Thank you, respond and play Apex. Like, so cute. That's one point. You got one point so far. I mean, that's the only point that I've given out. You didn't miss any points yet, but one point so far for having an actual trans person, you know, voicing the character. Not only does it allow a trans person an opportunity to be a voice actor, which is amazing, duh, but it also just helps play into that accurate representation. You can't mess up representing a trans woman's voice when it's a trans woman's voice, you know what I'm saying? And there are definitely ways that it could be messed up. I mean, in the past, we might've heard a man's voice, like literally just a man's voice playing this person, but nope, it's Catalyst. It's Miss Melly Grant. Anyways, continue. I feel like the whole world has opened up now that I'm myself. I'm glad. Funny, isn't it? And the moon may be dying, but it... She said, I feel like the whole world has opened up since I've been myself or been able to be myself. That's pretty explicit. I mean, she didn't say trans, but whatever, it's fine. Whatever, well, it's fine. We'll take it. One and a half points. <laughs> I see creativity, compassion, leadership. <laughs> leadership? Really? I only tell you what the palm tells me. Oh, I love this little part. This is so cute. This part, it's giving Catalyst a personality. It's giving her, you know, something more than just being trans. I feel like a lot of times, whether it be in movies or video games or whatever it is, the character is focused on the transness and they never really talk about anything else. So them already building up a personality for Catalyst, giving her these you know, traits that are just normal traits that are great to have. It really helps humanize that character and in turn, trans people. You're much stronger than you realize. You've already been through so much. Transitioning, that was sort of hard. Oh my God, that was like, she said it. 
I'm like, that's so cute. Also, is this a little LGBT romance? What's going on here? Okay, that was explicit. That was great. I love it. I love it. They've made it substantially clear now that Catalyst is a trans person. She's transitioned. You know, she's finally herself now. They're not just nudging at it. They're pretty strongly, you know, being like she's trans, which is so, so important. So many companies are so afraid of being like explicitly trans. Just do it, girl. Just do it. Again, we see Catalyst doing actual like badass things. Like she's a cool character. She's out here fighting crime and shit, whatever you do in Apex Legends, I don't know. Hey, you didn't say anything about a bomb. What did you think we were doing here? Stop, people could get hurt. Oh, so moral, so just. It's always us transies, we're just so moral, girl. <laughs> the woman who saved Cleo. No! Okay, that was really sad, first of all. But the woman that saved Cleo? You're the person that saved us all. And I'm like, the woman though? I'm the woman that did it? <laughs> Do the rocks tell you what happened to her? No. They only tell you what you already know. That I had to come here to protect my true home. Oh, well, that's a rough bit of luck. Okay, that's so cute. Oh my God, I loved it. That was the trailer. What'd you think? Leave a little comment. How'd you feel about it? I want to talk a little bit about the way that Catalyst is being portrayed in this trailer. Of course, I haven't played the game. I don't, you know, know everything that is going to be happening involving the character or anything like that, but I've seen enough. I've seen some stuff. I have some notes here, girl. Let me get my little notepad. Some of the things that I really, really liked about this portrayal of a trans woman is she was badass. She was a hero. She wasn't this like overly feminine, petite, like little, you know, I don't want to say the wrong word, but like character that I feel like sometimes people can envision a trans woman to be. You know, sometimes people feel like, oh, you're a trans woman, so you have to like only girly things. You have to like only the most feminine, girly, pink little things that are available. And that's just not the case. So the fact that they represented her as, you know, somebody that was just, you know, them. They just were badass and cool and whatever. That's, that's really cool to me. But in terms of the way that they made Catalyst look, you know, her build isn't super masculine looking. She just looks like any of the other girl characters. She's not out here like extra, extra tall or extra, you know, broad shouldered or anything like that, which I think is really good and honestly important. You don't want to play into any stereotypes. Of course, I just have to say really tall trans woman, they're a thing, they're beautiful, they're hot as hell. Like I'm just saying, going with stereotypes is just not the route that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of stereotypes though, they made Catalyst have blue hair, which I don't know if it was like a comment on the stereotype that is often surrounding, you know, trans activists of, oh, y'all have blue hair, y'all like blue haired, little liberal, whatever, whatever they say. I wonder if that is some sort of like, you know, she's got blue hair, she's one of us. <laughs> All around, I just think that they did a really, really great job with this character. She is the first trans woman character in Apex Legends. However, I do think that there is a non-binary character. Nobody's ever talked about the non-binary character, myself included. I did not know that there was a character that was non-binary. I will not lie. But yes, apparently Bloodhound, I'll put a little picture, or my editor will put a little picture of Bloodhound here. Thanks, editor. Oh my God, you guys, I got an editor now. So profesh. Bloodhound is the non-binary character. Here's the picture for you. And they're actually voiced by a cis, queer person. So not a non-binary person, unfortunately, but somebody still in the community. Kind of good, eh, all right, decent. I haven't really looked into that character too much. Maybe that could be another video, but I do know that they use they, them pronouns and they're described as non-binary, I'm pretty sure. So that's cool. Apex Legends is on it, girl. They even said in this article that many developers and the staff at Respawn had a goal of making a character who was quote unquote, inescapably trans. Amazing, bravo, 100%. And I think that they did a pretty good job of doing that. You know, the update hasn't even come out yet. And in the trailer, she's already saying oh, my transition. She's talking about how life got so much easier for her after she came out, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just very hopeful that, you know, the conversation will go even deeper and be even more explicit in the actual gameplay. So yeah, you guys, that's the new character for Apex Legends. Give Apex Legends and Respawn a round of applause for, you know, such a great inclusive character. This is really, really exciting. You know, it's hopefully the first of many explicitly trans characters in video games, but they're really setting a path here, in my opinion anyways. And shout out to Catalyst, girl, she looks great. But yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. I post new videos twice a week here on my channel. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.